Double crossbow fires two missiles at the same time. Look familiar? If you grew up like me, or in the past 50 years, the Nerf gun was the toy to have. Don't you get it? It's Nerf or nothing. Now, it took me a while, but eventually I grew up enough to stop playing with toys like these. And you probably did too. You know, school, work. Eventually, the magic was lost. Unless you're this guy. This is the world's largest Nerf gun. And this is the world's biggest kid. His name is Mark Rover. Take one part literal rocket scientist, mix two parts YouTube sensation, and add in a whole load of messing around, and he'll have you feeling like a kid again, only smarter. It's larger than life experiments like these that have transformed Mark into a social media phenomenon. With 15 million subscribers on YouTube, racking up more than one and a half billion views. So growing up in the 90s and 2000s, I had Bill Nye the Science Guy. Nice. Today, kids have Mark Rover. Who is that? Mark Rover is passionate about getting people just stoked about science and engineering. Like, that's kind of my MO. So I'll suck people in with something big, like, you know, world's largest Nerf gun, world's largest super soaker. But at the end of the day, it's about, like, telling them about the science of what's going on there. All right, pause. Because we're in a global pandemic, you're probably wondering how Mark and I can hang out with little social distancing and no masks at all. Well, we actually shot this segment before the world shut down. And in that time, while there's been no shortage of news... I've always thought if we could somehow just see the germs around us. Mark's been busy hosting science class for those of us who have been stuck at home. Physics, chemistry, math, my nightmare growing up. But for Mark, numbers, formulas, and an acumen for innovation all just sort of came to him. How did you first get curious about science? I've just always loved math and science and physics, and so a lot of my videos come down to like physics principles. Like I'm trying to explain people like, this world is magical, but magical in a way that like, if you understand how it works, you can predict the future and you can make cooler things. But Mark isn't your everyday DIY science guy. He's got the resume to back up these experiments of astronomical proportions. But I mean, long before, this wasn't your job. You weren't a YouTuber. You were actually a rocket scientist. <laughs> yeah, so I spent nine years at NASA at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. So seven of those were working on the Curiosity rover. Something I've touched and designed and tested uh, is, is roving on that little dot in the sky 90 million miles away. It's like, it's a cool feeling. All right, here's an idea for a relatively simple Halloween costume. Uh, While he was literally sending aircrafts to space, he posted this science experiment to YouTube. It got him nearly 10 million views. And that was a cool feeling. And I'm like, I should, I, I, wanna, I wanna do this more. I should do this again, right? So honestly, from that point, like eight years ago, I've done one video a month. Before long, he left behind, and I can't stress this enough, a job at NASA to make YouTube videos full time. <laughs> yeah, there was a survey that went out recently that it's like, more kids want to be professional YouTubers than astronauts. And everyone, like, even I'm like, man, that's so lame. But then I was like, hold up. I quit my dream job at NASA to make YouTube videos, so I'm not really one to judge. <laughs> Sounds crazy, right? Well, the gamble paid off, literally. Now Mark's making a living off of his experiments, which are often sponsored by major brands. His biggest hits? racking up millions of views, like the world's largest horn, or a pool made entirely of jello, and a bowling ball that only makes strikes. Talk to me about some of these ideas, because these are an eight-year-old's dream. Are you a kid? So I joke sometimes in the videos, like, my quest is just be, like, the favorite uncle with my nieces and nephews. And I started with, you know, a lot of times having them in the videos. I love having kids and young people in my videos because like they're sucky actors so when they give a reaction it's genuine when you see just like the sheer enjoyment of like a kid doing a belly flop into a jello pool it's like that's that's just magic one of his most viral clips inspired when alleged thieves started getting handsy with mark's amazon packages so mark made them pay with glitter just felt like such a victim. And I was like, hold up. Like, I freaking 
help put the rover on Mars, you know? I made a dartboard you can get a bullseye every time. Like, if anyone could do something about this, like, it's me. It says, reward if found, call this. Like most tech nerds, Mark calls the Bay Area home. Here at his workshop, we finally got to mess around with some gadgets. Too bad. There you go. No, that was perfect. Yeah. I'm having the time of my life, but Mark says <laughs> it's all about education. He even advocates for important causes, trying to save the planet with super celebs like Bill Gates. Wow, well, that's pretty good. As a YouTuber, as a scientist, as a dad, why is it important for you to be kind of advocating for these causes? It's weird to think that like I can tap a microphone and like 25 million people will listen, right? And so I can't just sit by and not do something knowing that I could, right? And I have the power to do something about it. This is the world's largest Nerf gun. I've kind of like opened it up here so you can see. But it's hard not to admit that being a big kid is in Mark's DNA. So Mark just loaded up the world's largest Nerf gun our producer, John, is sitting in that trampoline. He's about to get the nurse shot straight at him. Are you ready, John? Yeah. All right, we're gonna pray that we don't take you out. But if we do, sorry. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah! That was awesome. Shotgun mic off Took the, the shotgun camera. mic off the camera. Can we get a shot of that, Stan? <laughs> the mic got taken straight off the camera. That's How you power. feeling, Cap? That's a lot. <laughs> that's, 40, that's 40 miles an hour of pure toilet plunger. No producers were hurt in the making of this piece, but I do think we need some more space. And a drone. We definitely need a drone. <laughs> if eight-year-old Mark Rover could see you now, what would he think? He'd be friggin' stoked. He'd be real stoked. For Nightline, I'm Ashin Singh in Silicon Valley. Yeah! Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.